Good morning, friends. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Vlogmas. I am kicking this vlog off pretty late in the day. It is one o'clock. I spent the morning having coffee, relaxing, catching up on all the Vlogmas videos I was behind on. I did like a binge watch session two hours straight. Um, I'm in the truck now. We are getting ready to head to do some errands. Austin just hopped in. Say hi, Austin. They can see you. Hi. <laughs> um, we are going to take him to his girlfriend's house. We're going to stop by and pick up some flowers for his girlfriend. He wants to get his girlfriend flowers, which I thought was so sweet. And then we're going to drop him off. And then Eric and I are going about the rest of our errands. We have to go we're on a search for a prime rib for our Christmas dinner, as well as some other meat we need to pick up. We've got a gift card to use, um, and the place that the gift card is for is actually closing, they just announced, so we want to make sure we use that before um, they close. And we got to pick up a few other odds and ends, so it's just like a rainy day errands. Um, we'll take you guys along with us, but I just wanted to get this vlog kicked off. All right, Austin picked out a couple of bouquets of flowers. He got this one and that one. One of them for his girlfriend and one of them for his girlfriend's mom. Isn't he the sweetest? He didn't want to be on camera, so we're not gonna show his face, but he chose some really beautiful flowers and we had them rewrapped so that they were very festive. Okay, so we just dropped Austin off. He was so excited to give them the flowers that he bought. He's the sweetest. He constantly is um, surprising his girlfriend with little unexpected things. And he just randomly the other day was like, will you take me to get some flowers for Kenzie? I think she needs some flowers. So. That is so cool. What are we looking at? These oh. trees that are carved. Look at Oh, you guys are going to be able to see. This is just some random house we're driving by, but look at how cool. Let me see if I can zoom in. Oh my gosh, this camera has the slowest zoom. That is really cool. So that's what, like a cat. I have really bad vision. Some cardinals. A um, little squirrel. The cardinal there. Those are beautiful. How cool. Okay, there was a little show and tell for the day. Um, as I was saying... Let me zoom back out. Nobody wants to see me that close. Um, he's constantly surprising her with little things. He's so sweet. He gets that from his daddy. Eric used to do the same type of thing for me when we were dating. Anyways, we dropped him off, and now we are headed to Best Buy. One of the Christmas gifts slash birthday gifts slash part of his car buying experience, <laughs> I guess, um, for Austin is we're going to put a new stereo in his car, um, like a touchscreen stereo with a backup camera. His car is a little bit older, um, so it doesn't have anything like that. And that was something we really wanted to do for him. So we decided we're going to go do that. So we need to schedule an appointment with Best Buy to have it installed and make sure that we have everything we need to um, be able to get that put in. And I don't know that that'll be done before Christmas, just depends on what the um, appointment schedule is like but it's not really a surprise he knows we're gonna do it but that's part of Christmas and his birthday his birthday is January 13th so um, it's hopefully be sometime between Christmas and his birthday we'll be able to get that done and he starts driver's training next week so he'll be able to actually start driving that car very soon which he's very excited about if you missed it, um, we did purchase a car for Austin. That was always the deal. We would buy him the car. He would be responsible for gas and insurance and um, also for uh, paying for his driver's training. So he starts that next Tuesday. And it's funny how they're doing it now, partially um, in person and partially on Zoom lessons. Plus, obviously, like the actual driving hours will be in person. So... He's very much looking forward to it, and he says he's not nervous. I was a nervous wreck when I first started driving, and that was not that long ago, actually. Um, I didn't get my license until I was in my 30s, so glad that he's starting a little sooner than I. Anyways, 
we're gonna go and I will check in with you guys later. Oh, you wanna say hi? Hi. He's driving Miss Daisy today. He always insists on driving. He does not ever let me drive him anywhere. I don't know if it's just he doesn't like my driving or if he's just a control freak or what. He just but. doesn't like sitting in the passenger seat with me. So I'm passenger princess always. Okay, so we just pulled up. We had to park a million miles away. There's 8,000 people here. I mean, I, I guess it's, from the it's directly behind us, but the, the building is, or the parking lot is full. We always come to Best Buy in December. Just seems like that's the only time we're ever here. It's not the best time to come, especially on a weekend. Well, you know. So we're going to be fighting some crowds, but I guess it is that time of year. All right, let's go. Okay, so Eric just went into Five Guys to grab he and I some dinner. We have been eating out so much in general, pretty much since um, I started working. Why is my camera not focusing? There it goes. I have not wanted to do a lot of cooking, so we've been eating out more in general for the past like six months or so. But especially in this month of December, I feel like we've eaten out almost every single day. So um, Eric and I were talking and one of the, our, our big goals for January is going to be to cook more at home. And he has agreed to take on a lot of the cooking. He's an amazing cook anyway. And, um, you know, I told him he'll do the cooking, I'll do the cleanup, and we can just kind of split it down the middle. We're still trying to figure out the best way to balance all of the household stuff with me working full time. I did it on my own pretty much. I mean, I always had help from my boys. I feel like it's important for me to say that like they've always been big helps but the majority of the household stuff has always been my responsibility I was home and now that I'm not home we've um, tried a lot of different things to strike a good balance and we still haven't found a good rhythm as to who does what and who should be responsible for what in an ideal world we would just like all four of us that live in the house would look around see what needs done and just do it but that doesn't happen so um we're gonna try some new things in the new year to find a good balance and stay on top of things so we're not eating out so much it's going to be so much better for my budget um and for my waistline so we're going to just try to get through december and then come january we're going to make some big changes and get back to the way things were hopefully before i was working full-time um we'll see how it goes it's, there's just no excuse for the sheer amount of eating out we've been doing other than just, you know, convenience and laziness. But we managed to get all of our errands run. We got Austin Stereo ordered and all of that scheduled. It's not going to be able to be installed until mid-January, so it's going to be a little bit before that gets done. And it costs more than we expected, as these things always do. But he's going to be so excited about that. And um, it's just going to help with his safety to have everything be hands-free. And um, I'm going to feel so much better about him driving with um, that and the GPS and everything. So that was done. We went to Ray's Prime Foods, which is the store that's closing, sadly, that we had a gift card for. They were one of our um, customers for our tour and drain cleaning company. And we were there. Quite often so we're sad to see them close both because we lost a customer but also because um, we really love that place and we're sad but we were able to use our gift card and um, we get a lot of steaks and stuff to stock our freezer with I'll show you all that when we get home we also went to Cattleman's and got a humongous prime rib um, so we're gonna be able to get quite a, a few meals out of that and um, we also bought some other things that were a good price. So I'll do a little meat haul when I get home. But right now I am like salivating, waiting for this food to come out. I'm starving. So we're going to eat. We'll get all the meat home, packaged up, and put away. And that's pretty much going to wrap it up. So sad to go back to work tomorrow. It's been a good weekend. But that's the way it is. So I'll check in with you guys later. All right, so here is our mostly meat haul. 
Um, we went, like I said, to Cattleman's and to that Ray's Prime Foods. So we had a gift card for everything from Ray's. We got a couple of these thick, a center cut thick pork chops. We got four and four, so that'll be two meals for us there. We got um, a big boneless rump roast. And we got a ton of porterhouse steaks. So we got um, eight total. And these are huge. So these are going to be fantastic. So plenty of steaks. At Cattleman's, we grabbed some saltwater taffy. I couldn't resist this. This huge bag was $10 and well worth it. My husband grabbed some pumpkin seeds. We also picked up a couple of whole chickens. These were a pretty good price, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, $1.99 a pound for those. I thought that was pretty decent. Uh, this is what we actually went for. We have a giant prime rib here. We're going to cut this into multiple um, meals here, but it was only $7.99 a pound. When we went to Ray's, they wanted $20.99 a pound. So obviously we got a pretty good deal there. And then the other thing we got at Ray's, which I totally skipped over, was the Dearborn um, natural casing hot dogs, which are my husband's favorite. So lots of meat. We're going to stock our freezer so that hopefully we can eat out less in January. Um, I don't know that we won't eat out at all because I don't know if that's realistic. Oh, also his clearly Canadian. He loves that stuff. And I think I skipped over the hot hunter sausage as well. Got those because my husband likes to snack on those. So lots and lots of meat to go around. All right. Advent calendar time again. And we are all the way up to day 17 now, I think. Which is a little busted here, but I'll just go ahead and uh, cheat and do it this way. <laughs> We have Bianco Doppio. So this one I have had many a pod of. Love it. One of my favorites. It is um, from the Barista Creations line, which I love. So very happy to have that. Moving on to the scented candles. We have... Another blue one here. And it is winter apples, which I would not expect it to be blue. Come on, you can do it, camera focus. Apparently it can't, okay. But it does indeed smell like apples, so that's cool. I'm surprised it wasn't, I don't know, I guess they don't have any red containers, so blue makes sense, but. Anyways, there's that. Maple's getting ready to open her advent calendar here, so we'll show you that as well. <laughs> You're a little behind on hers because she gets too many treats as is. <laughs> what day are we opening? 17. We're opening 17, 17, but 12 is still sealed <laughs> there. That's okay. She'll get to it eventually. So what is that one? It's a little green one. I think there's a key on the back. Yeah this guy here. Oh, they're just biscuits. Okay. Need a biscuit? Oh, wait. Give me a high five. Give me a high five. Good girl. <laughs> All right. So now we've got the wine. And if nothing good comes out today, I'm definitely going to go back for that, um, that Muscat one, because I hear that that's pretty darn sweet. And I like sweet wines. So we're going to open up day 17. Oof. We have a white blend from Romania. Life is too short to drink boring wine. Ain't that the truth? And it's been a little while since we did a puzzle, so I'm going to go ahead and do a puzzle tonight as well. And we have done all the way up through day five. So if my math is right, we pretty much are going to have to do a puzzle every day to get these all done before Christmas <laughs> or we have to double up for now oh, I just ripped it that's okay for now we're gonna work on day five's puzzle and if we flip this over we can see which one it is it's 
gonna be this one right here. How cute. Okay, so Eric and I put this one together today, and I gotta tell you, it was a tough one, and something still doesn't look right. Right around here, like it doesn't seem like this piece fits properly. You see what I'm saying there? But I can't figure out anywhere else it could possibly go. Like this doesn't seem like it matches though. I've been playing around with moving pieces back and forth for a while and I can't figure it out. So we just called it quits. But I, I don't know if it's just like the quality of the puzzle is bad or I'm missing something. But either way, we got it done. And it was nice to do this with my husband. I worked on the edge pieces. He put together most of the middle. And it was nice. I figured it out. This piece and this piece were swapped. They're almost identical. But that fits much better. All right, friends. That's it for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye.